what's going on guys and today I'm here with a very serious video I try not to make too many serious videos because I don't like to like you know shadow over like the overall theme of my channel which is essentially a place for people to come and to like forget what the fuck is going on in the world and just found a place of like solace I guess but sometimes I think it's better to use this platform to provide knowledge to people and to inform people so today I wanted to talk about mental health um, mental health is very fucking real uh, some people will tell you it's not fucking real it is very much fucking real and it's very much an issue uh, so why am I talking about this today um, one of my favorite youtubers um, of all time I'm not sure what he's going to going through but it's, it's seemingly like he's having something mental happen to him. If you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Etika. Now, I'm not going to get too deep into his situation because guess what? We don't fucking know his situation. So, you see a ton of people out here making videos, trying to do all this other shit and make make a quick buck about this, like off this motherfucker's like health, which is bullshit to me. You can suck a dick if you're doing it. Um, I'm not going to speak on any man's, woman's, any person's situation. I am not... I am not in ties with if I do not personally know you who the fuck am I to talk about your situation who the fuck am I to act like I know you so that's not the way we're going to go with this video and that's not what we're going to do I'm using him as an example to branch into the overall theme of this video which is mental health um so um man especially when it comes to YouTube man I, I just feel like YouTubers have like this certain standard like this level that they want to meet and they feel like they have to meet like when you when you get a certain amount of subs now on this channel I only have like 6,000 subs but on my other channel I have hundred and twenty thousand subs so um it gets to a point where you're like wow there are so many people watching me how could I possibly let any of these people down and you become a fucking work workers work horse shit I can't speak English you essentially become a workhorse and you're constantly like you're constantly up you're constantly working on videos you're constantly trying to find shit to entertain these people who give a fuck about you and in turn you forget to take care of your fucking self because you're spending so much time trying to cater to others and man um the shit fucking sucks and a lot of people don't see that side of youtubers because a lot of youtubers hide that shit very well YouTubers will not talk about how they feel. You won't see that. You just get like, you just get a video, and then the first thing you comment is, "Shit, I can't wait for the next video," which is good. Like people want you to fucking like, co content creators want you to want more videos, obviously. But at the same time, you like, shit, nigga, I just worked hard as fuck on this video. So, man, this is a rough game out here. I'm fortunate enough where like. I'm in a space where like I, I see this happening to other people so I better prepare myself for situations like this I don't let myself get like I don't let I don't let myself get in that like you know state of mind where I feel like you know because I've seen it happen to so many other youtubers I'm like okay listen Weeby, you can't let yourself get like that um and I don't if I feel like I don't want to upload I don't fucking upload if I feel like this is doing something bad to me, then I'll quit YouTube. Um, that's just the way I'm built to think. Um, as savage as it is or not, if I feel like this shit is like impacting my health, I will most certainly take a break. And I'll let people know I'm taking a break, but it, it's the it's the thing where you got to realize like, hey, I need to fucking step back. And sometimes you just need to like shut off your phone for a day. You need to get away from social media. Sometimes you just need to do things. You just need to separate yourself from things that are, are causing like these issues to you. So, man, YouTube is a place where you can get a lot of happiness, but at the same time, you can get a lot of fucking sadness. You can get a lot of bad things. And uh, I just want people out there, if you are a YouTuber, if you are a content creator, take a fucking break. If you're sitting in your chair right now, you've been sitting in your chair for eight hours working on a video, take a fucking break. I 100% assure you that your fans will understand that you are taking a break. They understand. A lot of YouTubers have this mindset where oh, I have to make a video, I have to do this. If your fans love you like, like they say they love you and how you think they love you, 
Taking a break is not going to do anything bad. Get your ass out the chair. Go outside. Get some sunlight. Go run. Go take a drive. Even if you just want to stay in the house. Go watch a TV show. Go play a game. Red Dead Redemption 2 is out, bitch. And that shit is fire. Soul Calibur 6 came out last week. And that shit is fire. Take a fucking break. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself mentally. Take care of yourself physically. Just take care of yourself. You never want to put yourself in a position where you're jeopardizing your own health for for a fucking like platform, okay? Take a break, dude. And even if you are a content creator, if you're just a regular motherfucker and you feel like you were stressed the fuck out, take a break. Go do something else. Go do something that you find relaxing. If you find running relaxing, go take your ass on a run. If you find fucking sleeping relaxing, go take a nap, bitch. Take care of your fucking selves, people. All of you out there, every last one of you fuckers, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. One more time, take care of yourself. I love you. That's why I want you to take care of yourself. Um... Obviously, uh, ain't no fucking giant channel, but listen, I, I feel like it doesn't matter how many subs you have, it doesn't matter how many views, it doesn't matter how much, it doesn't, none of that shit matters when it comes to that mental health, because that mental health don't give a fuck about that revenue, it don't give a fuck about them views, and it don't give a fuck about them subs, it don't care about none of that, so in that mindset, everybody is the fucking same, so listen here, take a break, take care of yourselves, people. Trust me, this shit is real, and this shit will impact you if you do not take care of yourself properly. And I don't want to see any more people just like, just like going through things, just, just, just having to go through like shit like that. Cause that shit is not, that shit is not like, it's not good, man. And I don't want to see anybody go through that, especially like, you know, motherfuckers that are watching me. And I'm like, okay, I have this platform to express my voice to give you motherfuckers this advice. What the fuck am I doing? So guess what? Here's your advice for today. Go enjoy yourself. Go enjoy your life. I love you motherfuckers, all right? That's my that's this is this is this is my informational video to all you motherfuckers in the world, okay? Every last one of you motherfuckers. And if you feel like you're at a place where taking a break, this stress, this none of this shit will help you, speak to somebody. Find out ways that you can go. It just sometimes it just helps to talk to people. If you need to talk to somebody, there's always resources in order to find somebody to talk to. Yeah, I know a lot of people like to be like, oh, it's hard. Trust me, there's always, you have the internet. The internet is a wonderful place. It's a blessing and a curse. Internet, you can literally find anything on the fucking internet. You can find somebody who will listen to you. You can find somebody that will talk to you for fucking free. You have those resources. The internet is wonderful in that aspect. Talk to somebody. Seek out help if you need it. Don't be afraid to talk about shit. Do not be afraid to tell somebody you have an issue. Do not be afraid of that shit. I'm, I promise you. If you tell somebody, it'll be a lot better than doing with, dealing with that shit alone. I promise you. That's all I have to say for this video. Take care of yourself, motherfuckers. Live life. Prosper. I love you. Pass class. Eat ass. Ah, oh, shit. I, I fucked up my intro. Remember, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm keeping that shit in. Remember, motherfuckers. Pass class, don't eat ass, I'm out.